So last May, Harry Tynowitz is completely blasted in the White Sox locker room, and now you know what? They get him out of that, okay? I'm going to tell Harry Tynowitz this. I'm going to give him a little piece of advice. Please stop what you're doing, Harry. You're going to get yourself hurt. you got family and everything else, okay? I'm not trying to be a wise guy here. Take it from a guy who quit when he was 54. I'm cleaner than the board health, but I'm going to tell you something right now. If I would have kept going, it would have been bad. 50 is the cutoff point for you. I waited till 54, but you can't drink like me. I mean, plus on top of that, you had a point one three six. What is that? A whole bar you drank out? You drank out the whole cooler last night? Then on top of that, the embarrassment, you're stopped in Skokie? A bastion of hard drinking. Skokie. Uh, Harry, listen, Jerry Reinsdorf saved your ass once before. Will Jerry Reinsdorf come to your aid again? Jerry Reinsdorf, of course, great friends with uh, Mr. Tyner, which uh, Harry's father. Uh, and, you know, Harry, you got that money to fall back with. Your dad has done a, a tremendous job making a living. But don't you want to make it on your own? I don't want to see you let go, Harry. I don't want to see you let go. You still have some power. You still have some clout with Jerry Reinsdorf. But you know what? You can only go to the trough so often. Don't go to the beer drinking trough or whatever it is you're drinking anymore. I'm just telling you, giving you some friendly advice. I'm just saying, brought to you by the Flood Brothers. Oh, yeah, the Flood Brothers. Quit drinking like an Irishman.